All right, next in chapter P3, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about the quotient rule. Well, we already talked about the product rule, where the product rule says if you have something uh, and it, you can break it up into two factors, you can take the square root of the first and the square root of the second and multiply them together. Well, the quotient rule is very similar. Uh, if you have the square root of A over B, you can really write that as the square root of A over the square root of B. And vice versa, just like the product rule goes both ways, if you have the square root of A over the square root of B, you can write that as one radical. So kind of keep that in mind as we look at a couple examples. Here we have the square root of 100 uh, divided by 9. The first thing I would always do is if I could simplify this fraction, I would do that because that usually makes the numbers a little bit smaller and helps me out. But as you can see on this one, uh, those won't simplify. So we're going to use the quotient rule and we're going to say, well, since I have the square root of a fraction, I can really take the square root of the top over the square root of the bottom. Well, the square root of 100 is 10 and the square root of 9 is 3. So 10 thirds would be our answer for that one. Looking at the next one, uh, you know what we have? This is kind of still the quotient rule, but we're kind of using it uh, in the opposite direction. So we have the square root of 48 uh, x to the third over the square root of 6x. So what we can do is we can actually rewrite this as uh, the square root of 48 x to the third divided by 6x. So now we're using the quotient rule to combine it under one radical, and you can do that anytime your indexes are the same. Since both these are 2, you can see that it applies. And what we can do is we can now simplify our fraction. Well, 6 will go into self once. We'll go into 48 8 times. We have 1x on the bottom and 3 on the top. So we can take 1x from each. So we're going to end up with is the square root of 8x squared. Now, what we have to do is we have to try to simplify that. So as you can see, uh, we have the square root of 8x squared. Well, 8 is not a perfect square, but there are factors of 8 that are. So we can say it's going to be 4 times 2. The reason we chose 4 is because 4 is a perfect square that will go into 8, and 2 is basically what's left over. Now our next job is to figure out, can we take the square root of x squared? And that answer is true, that we can, because the index of 2 will divide evenly into the exponent. So it's going to be 4x squared. So when you take the square root of this, you'll get 2x. We can't take the square root of 2, so that remains under the radical. So the simplified form for that would be 2x times the square root of 2.